Good morning. I'm here. Yes, you are. How are you this morning, Ernest? I'm doing great, dude. Mm -hmm. Good. I don't know if you saw the joint animal this morning. I, did uh, I know you saw because I saw you tweet about it. I didn't tweet about it. Somebody tweeted about no, it. Yeah, yeah. Someone, came, someone came to me as I was sleeping in my slumber and they were like, your man is out here fucking up a joint and that was what happened. I, I had the cone ready and then I decided I got raw papers, I'm going for it, day one. And I, I think I crushed it. Uh, I crushed me. <laughs> I, to use it. I used your tutorial. Don't, fucking put, don't put your fucking failures on my teachings. That's not... It works. But anyway, this is what you're doing again. I just you start you turn the camera on because I told you I'm ignoring you today. I'm ignoring your trolls because I know that I'm too smart for them. Also, I don't know. I keep um, falling into the trap. And then you fucking try to be like, oh, who's really the troll? Because fucking Brandy all this because Brandy has FOMO, like a motherfucker. You think that everyone now is trolling you? No, Casa Bonita sucks. No one thinks it's good. You don't even think it's good. Off camera, you my stomach still hurts. You're a fucking troll. That's the last thing to say about it. I'm ignoring you. What time's the tattoo? I told you this like fucking. 12 times. And you're supposed to know these things. What the fuck is wrong with you? I just woke up. This is what I'm saying. I just wake up and this is what happens to me. I just get it. Literally fucking told people in the chat that I had a tattoo. Oh yeah. And I also told people about lunch. These days blur together. What lunch? I also, I, in the same thing that I was talking about Casa Bonita, I was talking about you having to tattoo. Are you guys coming? Yeah, um, Tuesday, Wednesday. What I was thinking is I come up Tuesday night, we hit that night skiing up in Brack, and then we come <laughs> There is no night skiing in Brack. No, 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 me we and Brandy go there, there first, and then we come for the interview. When we show up, you can do the full post-night night snowboard interview, and then we'll get up the next morning and do it again. I'm not trolling you, I'm for real. I wanna, I, if I'm coming up that night, like if I can't get up for the day of skiing, mm -hmm. we'll come up, we'll do a little night ski, see what it's like. Worst comes to worst, if it sucks, at least we don't have to drive back down the mountain. We just come over to you. Question, what makes you think they do night skiing on a fucking Tuesday night? I thought it was every day. I, I'm gonna have to look. Night ski keystone hours. View it. Look, oh, there's a picture of them just pointing at the moon. <laughs> yeah, it's it's literally open every day in February except the fifth and the sixth. Which, <laughs> which is, is Tuesday. No. <laughs> I'm pretty sure today's the second. No, it is. <laughs> Every, yeah. Uh, oh, it is. So I guess uh, it's every Tuesday, a, every Monday, Tuesday, but then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It's closed on Tuesday. Yes, yeah, so I was right. Yeah, but. Just say it. That's the only just day. You're right. But wait, then in March, they're open every single day, yeah, except the first Monday, Tuesday. Yeah, probably because it warms up. I'm going to have to hike up somewhere. Yeah, you should totally do that. You should hike up, you and Brandy. So you really didn't think my joint was good this morning? No. I'm not talking to you about it. You're setting me up. You're so no, because I watched gonna... you roll it and say, this is bad. <laughs> what are you ugly, but I thought that I was going to roll it and it was going to straight up canoe. Like, just burn sideways, I mean, fuck up, and fucking, waste the weed. You're happy with your fucking performance, and that's all that matters. What does it matter what I think? Because you know, you're happy with what you did. Cause, cool, praise yourself. Don't worry about you, praise. Like, cool. I'm glad. I'm glad that you glad that you're satisfied with your fucking work, man. See what your your joint looks like. Which one's well, gonna look just fine? Motherfucker stopped at home on the way home to pick up rock. Huh? Yeah. Pick up some training wheels while you're over there. Or what? Did you join like this this morning, sir? Well, I got a shorted version. Well, twelve easy payment of ninety nine ninety nine. I can teach you how. I brought my papers with me. Why? Just in case I need them now that I'm a joint baller. <laughs> I need them. You don't like it. I had the worst session of PUBG I've ever had last night. Really? Yeah. I literally just got killed over and over. I was defending my gaming this morning. I guess you didn't get to that part of the live stream. <laughs> you know, it's really sad that, like, not only are you a troll, but you've turned, like, other people into trolls, too. Yeah, they're all turning into little trolls that are like, to we want to see what Earn does next. <laughs> we want to see if he'll make him crazy. I think that's literally what most people are waiting on. Like, I just want to see I know, it. you were like, vote no, and kids were like, I voted yes. <laughs> I'm still sweetening it up. No, <laughs> I haven't really sweetened it up yet. Oh boy. Favorite. Off. Yeah, good man. Pretty good joint. I gotta give it up to you. Sword. It is better, but I'm on my way. I'm happy mine didn't completely fail. Like, I literally thought for the first one I rolled up. I think it's your first joint you've ever rolled. Yeah, but dude, I. The boost, Rick. 
Oh yeah, I wore these to get your reaction like for all oh time. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. Like some like British knights or something. What? Like that. You know, British like, knights? Yeah, dude. I mean they look like the KBA, but <laughs> I said, what up, bigger? <laughs> What's going on in here? I went to Sam's Club. I still got to put this heavy shit away. Where'd my guitar go? Look at that. <laughs> Bacon painter. Bacon well, painter. Well, switching oh, to oh. art mode. Art mode. Oh. Get a fried Dude, I fuck with it. I fuck with some of the songs. Man, he's such a dude. But he listens to music. No, I just seen him on the internet. Dude, that's dude, that's the problem. That's You're not why hearing the music. Joke, though, that's man. why he looks like that. So it's your fucking right. Because you knew exactly who I was talking about. I mean, it just gotta be in the right like, mindset. Give me Cardi B. Huh? Give me Cardi B. Oh, he's fine too. But like, yeah. but Josh is six nines are gonna fuck. Hang on, Art, dude, he's gonna be huge. He's gonna be huge because nobody can ignore him. Six nine guy. That's what we're talking about. Who the fuck is that shit? He like molests like thirteen year olds too, Art. He's like a registered sex offender for like multiple years. Because you're the fucking dude who like is all about reading and like no fake news. He was with a fucking a thirteen year old girl showed up at a fucking party, was filming herself on Instagram and being crazy, and he just happened to be there. There was like no sexual contact or anything. I understand, but you're like. Like, yeah, you delve into news pretty like I came in here and I was like fucking Trump built the fucking guy. You'd be like, oh well actually he didn't seem to rock it there. Like, we gotta give everybody a fair shot. Yeah. He's uh I mean the way he looks is just for the fuck like can't get attention on the internet looking like a normal ass person. Like like we respond to fucking weird shit. So that's why he's gonna be huge. What are those? On his feet? Mm-hmm. They're the Bruce Jubar. He belongs to that Rick with roasting, but it looks like he might be the one roasting. Oh, yeah. Landing was so small. Uh, oh my god, I just keep missing fucking phone calls. Namaste, world. Namaste. Namaste. I don't give a fuck. Uh huh? I brought you the rest of my tater tots. Nice. Hey, what's up? Full what <laughs> Patriots here. Hey, of course. No, Philly, if they win, they'll burn the city of the Why ground. do you want Philly off the map? No, because they're just going to party that hard. It's going to be like an Andrew WK music video. But if they lose, it's not going to be eventful. And what will happen in New England if they win? We'll go to Legal Seafoods again. Yeah. <laughs> a bunch of clams. I'm still pooping peanuts. No, he's not pooping peanuts anymore. That's nice. I just got our tickets to the 747 thing. Nice, dude, thanks. I was gonna get them for us, but it looks like you... you didn't know how to get them. No, I know. How they did it, so they weren't like releasing any info about how they were giving out tickets and doing like random shit like, oh, if you come down to Nice Kicks, right now we have five tickets and shit like that. No one I hit up from Adidas could tell me what was up, like nobody. Tonight someone hit me up and was like, all you have to do is go down to the Adidas in LA on Melrose, buy this new shoe that came out today. So if you go down there and you spend 200 bucks, you get your ticket. Like, yeah, I'm gonna go buy the shoe for my girl today, so I'll just give you the tickets. And so you just sent me the link. You know? Oh, nice. Now we're good to go. We just need to find a place to stay and figure out this pop up and then go to LA. LA, we coming for you. Coming to that 747 All Star Weekend sump. Watch out, watch out, LeBron. Yeah, you're too watch blurry. Out. Watch too out, blurry. Steph. I don't care. You don't want to bum blurry because I'm moving fast, motherfucker. <laughs> What's up? Ready to get tattooed? I'm ready. What do you got? That's that's what he's working on? Yeah, he's working on. He's going to take it all the way around. Nice. Yep. Oh, yeah. my God. He's a stupid handsome. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That's your little baby? Yeah. Oh, my God. You want to see him? Yeah, wait. I'm going to fuck. Oh, there he is. He's so cute. <laughs> that's... Yeah, that's okay. good. Okay. Yeah. I told to ask you about your Tinder experience. Don't swipe right, swipe left. <laughs> you were swiping the wrong way the whole time? I guess. Habit of going this way. Yeah. I'd get drunk because I'd be like nasty, nasty, nasty. And then but you've met girls on there even swiping the opposite. Yeah, it would fucking still do connections. I'd be like, what's up?
Yay! You can make a BMX jump. Nice. It's perfect. And it's got that flex, so it'll be like, ha! Talking, you're like, <laughs> talking about games. Cool. You're like a fucking 13 year old boy on the internet. Cool. I'm pretending I'm just a boost. Talking, just talking. Just talking. Well, that's what I've learned. Big talk. I've learned big talk. Big 13 year olds on the internet. It's, yeah, it's just a lot. It taught me a lot. So that real life situation. Are oh, the appointment that I got you? Well, that you got me? Yeah. I'm sure it wasn't the two Steve's that you saw. What are you guys doing? I gotta go shoot shoes downstairs. Yeah, I'm tired. What are these? Uh, it's triple black. Pretty dope. Oh dang. We got like a different texture. Yeah, that's neat. Go later. 21. Gang, gang, gang. Gang, gang. Gang, gang, gang. Gang, gang. Gang, gang, gang. Gang, gang. See y'all later. 21, 21, 21, 21. Hey, hey, hey. Ella, Ella. I know. I've been gone for a long time. We oh, busted in here somehow. I don't even know how you did that. What do you think? I know. I know. I know. I have been gone for a right long time. Give me the ball. Hi. Hi. Hello. It has been a very long day. Oh. A little more. Oh. A little time to rest. I have the worst headache of my life right now, so banana kush to the rescue. Okay, so quite the day. A lot has happened. I have this is a massive headache, like massive. Um, so I'm going to try to fix it. I don't know how. So 747 LA is happening. There's going to be a pop up in LA. It's happening. I'll be there Saturday as of now, me and Ern. I don't have tickets to Friday. So if I can get two tickets to Friday, I'll also show up Friday. Um, I'll announce all the details for the pop up soon, but that will be happening in LA for All Star Weekend. Uh, sure. Shirts are dropping Sunday. I have uh, different colors. I've posted, I think, all the colors on my Instagram. Long tees, regular tees in different colors, long sleeves, and then packs return uh, in black. So there's a ton of stuff dropping. Good luck. A lot of it super limited, so just, you know, have at it. Sunday at 10 a.m., OSTeddy.com. There's tigers, dragons, snakes, roses, the whole shebang. Uh, let's see. The print from my art show, also on Instagram. I The prints are almost done, just have to color correct a couple of things. And then those will be available. They're going to be limited to 100 pieces. They come signed and numbered. They're going to be 70 bucks a piece. And um, I don't know when those are going to drop yet. Sometime probably next week. And then speaking of next week, uh, this weekend I'm actually headed up to Breckenridge. Again, I'm going to go, I'll be in Breckenridge probably until Thursday. So I'm going to go up there, see the ice castles, snowboard, try to get in the park a little bit. like try not to kill myself but also do handrails and big jumps and things like that so uh, I'm gonna head up there hang out Ern's gonna come up like Tuesday so lots of stuff going on this week and then getting ready to go to LA and then we have all these things happening like it's all happening so as far as shoes go there are a pair of shoes that I had not looked at yet uh, and that is the triple black 4.0 ultra boost the triple black the elusive the ever so talked about triple black Ultra Boost. For those of you that don't remember once upon a time, we had Ultra Boost. And Ultra Boost only came in white. Then we got Red Boost. And then we got Black Boost. Um, actually, we got them at the same time. But uh, that was only like a year ago. The first model the Black Boost showed up on was the, actually the uncaged Ultra Boost. Um, which I don't even know if I still have that model. 
Let me look. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I have it. I have another uncaged with black boots, but I can't remember if I sold it or not. I may have. It may just be in the closet. But anyway, uncaged was the first with black boots. Well, we didn't get a triple black 2.0. The only thing that ha we got is Haven, which is basically like a 2.0. So that was the that was the 2.0 triple black. Then we got the color collab, which had a black sole. Um, and then 3.0, they just started dropping quite a few triple black ultra boosts. In fact, I have two of them here. Probably the closest to an actual black triple black. Uh, this is a 3.0, but it does still have some gray in it. They dropped a few different versions of this, uh, this being one of them. 3.0 that they dropped that was triple black, triple black. It's this version, which had a lot, a lot of gray in it, so way more gray and not so black. Now, I feel like there was like one more version, which I may have. I also may have sold. I really didn't keep track of what I got rid of. I do feel like I got rid of a pair. And then the 1.0, which is actually triple black, this was one that that barely really even came out. I mean, they came out, but really didn't. And then they were all like, just, it was super random. You know, I have like three pairs of these. And then this is again, our four. That's it in the first 2.0 or 3.0. And this is it compared to, uh, so it's different. I mean, if you're really getting down into the nuts and bolts of it, it is a different color shoe in the way the yarns are implemented. It definitely uh, changes the way that it looks, whether you're into it or not still different. Uh, sometimes in previous pairs, the black colorways have been a little tighter. I don't necessarily feel like that on this one. It feels the same as my other 4.0. And if it is tighter, it's very, very slight. It is black on black on black on black with hints of gray, not hints. Well, ooh, we haven't really said if it's peppered in or not. I don't really know if it's peppered in. It's basically woven in. You know, I feel like it's woven. I don't feel like we're doing a lot of peppering. I feel like we're doing some weaving. Some digitally woven in, like different shades of gray. It's like a dark, dark gray and a light gray and then just straight up black. Uh, toe pattern on this one is not that noticeable, honestly. Like I keep, it's not like it was yesterday with the Chinese New Year's. You really can't see squares so much. I'll be interested to see how many versions of the triple black we get in the 4.0 and seeing uh, what they do with the pattern if it changes at all. Uh, black boost. That black boost does not go all the way through as some people still wish and hope and dream for. Black torsion system, black continental salt, black heel cuff with black ultra boost lettering, branding, um, and then just a regular boost and salt. So it's a GR ultra boost. Like it's really, uh, you know, it's a triple black. So resale should not be high. You should, I don't know if you'll be able to walk into a foot locker and get them, but uh, you should be able to get them, I would say, if you're really trying. Uh, the main shining star of the new 4.0 ultra boost triple black. <laughs> foods here. So this cage, which is a little different, has this kind of, as Ern would call it, it will be Kevlar and bulletproof, but it does have that sort of textured Kevlar-ish type material. It is definitely not bulletproof. If you get shot in your foot, it's still gonna hurt. Um, but it's nice. It's a lot more flexy. It feels like it just moves with your foot easier. I mean, it's very easy to see that this just moves uh, in harmony way better than the plastic cages. You can just kind of tell how it's been, the, the caging system has been thinned down. So. Even the amount of material in the heel cup is less, like this 3D printed heel cup. Tongue tabs on the 4.0 is about one centimeter longer than the prior, I'm just kidding. Well, it, it is actually just slightly longer and wider. Ultra Boost are generally a GR. GR stands for general release. For those of you that don't know, that means you should be able to find them pretty much generally everywhere. A lot of people forget that Ultra Boost is a general release shoe, and they complain about triple black shoes too much, like, oh, Adidas made another black shoe. Um, and I've, I've gone through it a hundred times, like, of course they do. Whoa. Black shoes sell a lot. Kind of wanted to show you the differences, that new cage. Um, I like it. Of course, you guys know I love Ultra Boost. Coming down to getting more and more Ultra Boost, and then I think slowly or here shortly, I'll start windling them down again because I like certain things when they come out and then another thing comes out in the next six months. Certain things can replace other things. By no means do I think that um, anyone needs all of these different versions of a triple black. It's just, it's cool that we can take a look, but you definitely don't need them all. But if you need a pair of black shoes, those came out. All right, um, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm still exhausted. That actually helped my head a little bit just concentrating on some. I'm now gonna concentrate on trying to edit the vlog. So we'll see you guys on Monday. I'll see you in LA soon. I'll see you in the mountains if you're up there. Yeah. Love y'all. Peace.